Well, hello there. Welcome to White Room Resale. Uh, this is going to be a, a quickish video. I just had I picked up a couple of things today. Uh, retail arbitrage, as they say. Where you go to a retail store and you find something at a deep discount that you can flip for a profit on eBay. To start off with, I picked up this these Coca-Cola uniform jackets that are pretty cool. It's um, got a little bit of a, a retro look to it. It's got the uh, button closures in the back. It's a uh, full zip, of course. Kind of a kind of a Dickies vibe to it. Um, Coca-Cola patch on the front. Larger Coca-Cola patch on the back. Got these at Ollie's. Ollie's is a discount place. And they had one their price of $20. However, this was in the $1 bin. So I got seven of these for $7. I picked up a similar jacket, except it was a, um, a heavier weight and there were smalls. Um, it was a, a thick, a little bit thicker jacket, more of a waist length. These are universal, um, sorry, Riverside uniforms made in USA, made in the USA. Um, that's pretty hard to beat for a dollar. And these happen to be XLs and I got seven of them for $7. I'm going to try for, um, the other jackets I sold for $30 each. I paid a dollar for those also. Um, I'll put them right there. Like I said, they're a little different. They're th they were thin insulate, you know, so they were insulated jackets, but not that different. Then uh, there's a Dick's out. It's not even an outlet. It's the Dick's has been Dick's Sporting Goods has been putting up these stores where they're putting uh out of season or whatever, um, end of season, out of season clothing, and just basically blowing it out. And they had these Merrill hiking boots, and you can see what I paid for them there, $16.97. Um, comparable value, $144.99. They're very, very nice shoe. Hiking boot, as you can see. So what I did was I bought. They had other sizes, but I decided to go just with big sizes, 12s and 13s. I got. I bought two 12s and two 13s, and then I bought a nine and a half for me. So I'm hoping that one of these will pay for everything because um, they are selling. Um, there's not a lot of them listed, but more have sold than have listed. The last one that sold, um, was $89. I think it was $89. I can look it up and maybe put it here. $89 free ship. So, well, that won't pay for all of them, but it'll pay for some of it. Anyway, I'm open to, I'm open to profit about $30, uh, per shoes. So I think that's pretty good. Now, uh, this is a tough way to do things, retail arbitrage, I, I found. Now, there's some people that just roam around and go to every place all the time, TJ Maxx and you name it. You name any of those sort of discount stores um, or even Walmart and go to the clearance aisle and they just go all over the place and buy things on clearance. Um, I don't have a lot of success with it, unless it's something so drastic like this. Um, if it's this drastic, where there's a wide range of profit availability, I mean, those jackets are actually cheaper than I could buy in a thrift store, and they're brand new. So, a dollar, if you invest a dollar, and something and 
you make a dollar back, that's a hundred percent profit. So I hope to make more than a dollar on those. Um, like I said, I'm going to shoot for 25 and see what happens. Um, one person, the other Jack is one person bought all of them. So I don't know if he, maybe he is going to resell them. I don't know. I don't care if he can, you know, if he buys them at 30 and sells them for 60, more power to him. I'm actually going to, as soon as I list these, I'm going to message him and say, I got these, you want these, you know? So it's, uh, yeah, you, I've tried other things and I've tried other ways and, um, and when I look things up in a store, the, the margin, I mean, unless you want a, a very, very small margin, you know, personally, I hope to, um, at least triple my money, triple my investment, if not 10 times my investment. So if I pay $2 for something, I'd like to sell it for 20. That doesn't mean I get $20. Because first of all, you have to take two dollars out of it. That's eighteen dollars, and the uh, the tw uh, if, if I sold it for twenty dollars, plus say five dollars shipping, or let's say I sold it for twenty dollars free shipping, and it's a lightweight item. Well, you're taking shipping out of that, so roughly roughly five dollars. <throat> so now you're already at twenty minus seven, but of that twenty eBay is going to take 13%. So, you know, there's a cost to doing business. Plus the couple of cents you pay for a label or the couple of cents you pay for a bag and so on and so forth. So if you're going to try the retail arbitrage, I mean, you can do it. There's no question you can do it. And I've been lucky to all of a sudden find these dicks, um, wholesale or blowout or whatever you want to call them stores are almost like pop-up stores and uh there's one in each mall i live between albany and a town called binghamton you may have heard um in the out in the woods but uh you know each each of those is fairly easy easily accessible with a little little bit of a drive but it's worthwhile it's very worthwhile because sometimes I just end up there anyway and I can put a little work in and pay for whatever I did that day or just, you know, add it to my inventory, add it to my store, add it to my consistent profit. And that's what you want, consistent profit. Because if you don't have profit, you don't have a business. You're just trading one dollar for another dollar. When in a business, you want to trade $1 for $2 or trade $1 for $3 or trade $1 for $4. And every time you trade that $1 for more than two, then you're doing something. Um, some businesses work like Walmart. A standard brick and mortar business runs at about a 10% profit if they're lucky. So if they make a million dollars, if they take in a million dollars, their profit is a hundred thousand after they paid the employees and the whatever leaves the accountants and so on and so forth. So that's if they're lucky. Now, hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. But it depends on what the business is and what you're trying to achieve and everything else. And Walmart runs on a one, about a 1%, maybe even a half a percent profit margin. But a half a percent of a billion is a lot of money. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not sure what, like McDonald's, I'm not sure what their profit margin is, but it's probably, it's probably in the 2 or 3%. But again... A McDonald's franchise is a multi-million dollar, us uh, one store. We're talking about ten thousand dollars a day it brings in, and gross. You know, you still have to you have out of that you have to pay for the food, and you have to pay for the workers, and you have to pay for the maintenance, and you have to give McDonald's their cut because it's a McDonald's mafia. <laughs> That's just how it is. If you want a McDonald's 
store, you have to have a million dollars in the bank. You can't borrow money to buy into a McDonald's franchise. You have to have a million dollars in the bank and you gotta pay them their cut right off the top. And every year, I think you have to pay them their cut, you know? But, there are people are gonna show up if it's McDonald's. <laughs> Cause it's McDonald's, man, it's everywhere. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, show you those couple of things. And uh, I hope everybody's having a, a good day, a good Monday. And uh, remember to take care of yourself first so that you can take care of other people. Peace.